Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Total Biscuit. I'm here to ask and answer one simple question. WTF is Rock of Ages. This is a game by Ace Team. You all know who Ace Team are? Ace Team has quite the colourful history. For instance, they released their first official mod back in 1999. It was called Batman Doom. Yes, they created a number of mods, including the only single-player mod for Quake 3 that I know of, the only purely single-player mod for it. They also made a game a little bit later on. So this has been a modding team around for like 10 years. And then they made a game in 2009 that was called Xenoclash, which was really, really good, but very limited in what it was. It was quite short, and it was really just about punching aliens in the face. Wait a minute, there's nothing wrong with that. Punching aliens in the face is awesome, and they did it in a particularly cool way. But it was a bit of a waste, considering they came up with this weird, wacky, wonderful, and utterly out-of-its-mind world. Really great design. So then they made this, which appears to be some kind of Monty Python-esque bowling game. We're all about to find out one way or the other as to what Rock of Ages actually is. What I should first point out, by the way, is it has the best options menu ever. Not only is it hilarious, as you can very clearly see here, but if we move to the settings, have a look at this. This is the best thing. This is going to get very loud for a second. <laughs> That's brilliant. That is brilliant. That is genuinely brilliant. I'm sorry, but it is. Also, this is the coolest thing and should be in every game ever. You see this? That actually shows you what the option does before you go into the game. I don't know if I want this or not. It's okay, because we will show you. Why do more games not do this? I mean, needless to say, we know what that is. It's cool that it's there, though, I might point out. But that's that's awesome. That's that's really, really good and fantastic. And why do more games not do that? I don't know. But let's crank up that anisotropic filtering. Oh, yeah. But yeah, the best menu design and the best option screen I have ever seen. Okay. Now... Ooh, we can change our character. We shall use the plague in combination with the happy boulder. There are numerous boulders you can have. Sphere of fear. I quite like the happy boulder. And then you have various characters here, including King Leonidas, Agamemnon, of course, Sisyphus, the great he-goat, Napoleon, Charles III, Marie Antoinette, Bacchus, you know, I don't even know what this game is, but Bowling with Bacchus seems like a fairly reasonable title, and I think that someone should pursue it. But yeah, it's a strategy game mixed with bowling, because hey, why not? The idea, I believe, is to smash down the gates of your opponent's castle using your giant rock. And by constructing defenses, you can stop your opponent from doing the same to you. Let's give it a try. Yes, there are multiplayer options. I believe you can have... Look at this. How rare is this? You don't usually see this. That is local split screen, folks. You can actually do it. On a PC. <gasps> I know. That's more shocking than it should be. Story time, ladies and gentlemen. Let's kick it off with Rock of Ages. Let's find out what's going on here. Tutorial might be useful. We start in Hades. Well, things can only go up from there. Am I right? <sighs> okay. Let's roll some boulders. Yes, that would be Sisyphus. He's rolling boulders. This looks like a... It's a kind of annoying version of Hades, I have to say. It's like, ah, you can have the grapes. No, you can't. I would have expected more from the realm of eternal torment. <laughs> what a little bastard. Wait, is, that, is that one of those little demons from... I'm almost certain that's one of those little demons from Zero Punctuation. Now, this doesn't actually appear to have any sound as you can tell. So I think we're just gonna most likely skip this, <laughs> as amusing as it is, because there is no sound whatsoever. All right, we get the idea. Okay. It's time for me to battle using this rock. Right. Okay, so that is my rock. I can move the boulder with W, S, and D. Okay, go boulder. Now. What I want to avoid doing is losing mass as I go along. So I will avoid the demons 
Always a good idea. I said to find. We can hop over in this. Whoa! There we go. This is like Katamari Demacy. Crossed with bowling. Crossed with Super Monkey Ball. Crossed with Monty Python. Right. Okay. The workers are constructing another boulder, as you can very clearly see right there. This is the sky view, and I believe you can place defenses for when your opponent decides to do something unpleasant to you. And um, we don't have a lot of money yet. That kind of sucks. So that's how much strength the enemy gate has. You can rotate your view with the right mouse button. You can zoom in and out if you like. We are ready to release a boulder. Okay, let us release the boulder. Ah, you can actually upgrade your boulder, as you can see. Destroy some things on the way down to earn some gold. Okay, then. Let us do just that, then. How do I get off this screen? Okay, yeah, you're just going to select a normal everyday boulder. Can I flatten... No, yeah, I kind of can. Right, if the boulder is stronger, it will do more damage to the enemy gate. Right, well, it's going to lose strength, I believe, from destroying this stuff. But that's okay. I have a feeling, actually, there might have been sound, and I put the sound so low that it's actually not playing. I'm going to have to alter that in a second. Do I really want to be knocking over the demons? Right, okay, the demons don't actually give me anything whatsoever, so... Ah! Ah! God damn it! I never was any good at bowling. Well, it's placed me back there, which is awfully considerate of it. Right. Controlling the boulder is a little tricky. You have to sort of get used to it and not do that. Let's try and get the sound back to where it should be, because it looks like we put the sound so low. No, we actually put the sound off. There we go. Will it make sound now? Okay. Oddly enough, if you're about here, it doesn't seem to make any sound at all. Which is kind of weird. Why, why is this here? This is all zero, all of this. So I guess we're back to there. Okay. Right. Let us see if we can get some sound now. Okay. It makes sounds like rocks. Defy the laws of physics. This is not the wrong way. There is gold in them there, pots. Terraria said so. Okay. Smack him about a bit. Now, we have very little speed. So... Using the power of things which are impossible. All right, turn around and I attack it. This is, I suppose, what happens when you have a sentient boulder, folks. Ah, speed! Smash! There we go. Damage has now been done. The... <laughs> I'm sorry, but all of the sound design and just the art design in this game is fantastic. Alright, we can armor up our boulder. There we go. This is a much more dangerous boulder. Attack! Strike them with great vengeance. Smash innocents. We don't like them much anyway. If the innocents give us gold, then we shall smash them. This boulder has no sense of morality. Oh no, these defenses that we can avoid! Ah! Because we roll like this. They see me rolling, they hating. I'm Spinny Spiky Ball. Maha! Evil God, dude. You have succeeded in doing precisely nothing. Into the void with us. See ya. Looks like we let the, all the other guys out as well. This actually might have been a bad idea overall. Well. Every, just, I love the sound design, and I love the art design. I'm sorry, it's just brilliant. It is. This game could have no substance whatsoever, and I'd probably still play it so that I could watch all of these ridiculous cutscenes. Thankfully, it does seem to have some degree of substance. We'll see just how much as we go into this game. So much for the Trojan horse. Agamemnon is not pleased. What exactly is he doing, more to the point? Ah. What the? I don't even know. This is not going to be said because, quite frankly, it's entirely overdone. All right. Okay, we can build defenses on the side of the mountain. To stop the boulder. 
I have no idea how. Oh, yes, you, if I recall correctly, you pick one of these things. Cows are defenses, folks. Okay. Fierce and angry bovine soldiers that have been trained to pursue and push enemy boulders. Of course! Right, and only build on light tiles. Right, so where's my gate? I don't know. Is that... No, that's his gate, I assume. Or is it? I don't actually know. Where is my gate? Is that the enemy gate? Right, right. I assume it is. Okay. Let us place the fierce bovine soldiers over here. There we go. The bovines are in position. We shall add more cows. Towers right here. Oh no, I see him rolling. I must certainly hate him. Let's go. Attack! Well, this is thoroughly unique and goddamn bizarre. I'm not sure I've ever seen a game like this at all. I, I, I'm trying to make some kind of comparison, and the comparisons I'm coming up with are things like... Katamari, Super Monkey Ball, but... None of them quite compare. There are, there are certainly some similarities, I admit. Goddamn fierce bovine soldiers. Okay. We are continuing to roll. I'm not sure how much damage I actually did to that one. I slowed him down a bit, maybe. Aha! Over the top we go. Maximum speed. Aha! Okay. So you have to do something with catapults, and you can actually aim those manually. I don't really know how you would do that while you're also rolling your boulder. It's kind of weird. My bovine defense is still in place. Good. Good. I'm trying to figure out exactly what I do with those. Just spam defenses everywhere. Seems to be the best idea at the minute. There we go. He's going to have some difficulty getting through that. Catapult shots. Oh, okay. Any tile of your field. Right. Well, that's a little bit tricky. I'm not really sure what they intend me to do with that, other than that. Or you, maybe you just play defensive for a while, see it coming, shoot the catapult, and... Yeah, I don't really know, honestly. Ah, there's a key there. I probably should collect that. It's shiny and gold, and that means it's good. Okay, here comes the enemy. Ah! Not intended! This boulder has feelings too, you know. You don't seem to take any real damage from doing that, so it doesn't matter too much. Bloody cows. Get... You cannot kill the cows. The cows are immune to boulders. Useful skill to have. There we go. There we go. All the way over. Full speed ahead. So I assume now that I'm out of this, I can then perhaps fire the catapult. He's smashing through all my stuff. Where is he? Oh, he's quite close. I think I might be a little bit too slow. Yes, indeed I am. I think he's bypassing all my defenses like a bastard. The fact that he managed to make his way through that is a bit disturbing. I don't even know how he managed that. Perhaps we should build some more basic defenses over here. Because I know he'll pass through that. He has no choice in the matter. There we go. Shame I can't place any catapults behind that. That would have made far more sense. There we go. Additional catapults have been deployed. And yeah, you can shoot at anything there. So if your boulder... I suppose that's designed to prevent you from just derping around with your boulder for ages. Because you want to get back to the strategy screen so that you can then fire. Also, I don't really want to... I'm smashing my own stuff here, aren't I? I'm pretty sure most of those defenses were actually mine. I don't know. No, those definitely aren't. They could be traitors. In which case, I will deal with them later. In the meantime, <laughs> we're going in this direction. I've taken some damage. Off goes the enemy. But yeah, you don't actually start from your gate. You start from a spawn in the middle, so... There's not much left of my rock, I'm afraid. Will it be enough? Yes, it will. 
screaming like a little girl. Destroy him! Well, I've just ruined history. Or made it more awesome. Take your pick. Well, this is certainly making history more awesome. That I can guarantee. I've got three keys. I don't know what these keys are actually for. Ah, the Battle of Thermopylae. Sounds good. Will we find 300 Spartans? We shall see. Oh. It's going to count them all, isn't it? It's going to be very specific. Wait a minute. That's... Th yeah. I suppose that's fine. He's not too happy, is he? Oh, you actually went there. You went there. <laughs> You know, you had a spear, you could have just thrown it. Sisyphus is doing incredibly well here, I'm very impressed. I wanted to use the plague, but it looks like it's only for the time trial modes and things like, what the hell is that? Ah, right, it's an elephant with wings, of course. How silly of me. Right. Let's find ourselves a good defensive position. Set up a few catapults at the back right here. Unleash the cattle. Now, of course, he could avoid that entirely by simply moving over in that direction, but he is hoping Leonidas is not smart enough to do that. Deploy more cattle. We don't need upgrades for the ball just yet. I'm much better at this than I am at the actual ball, because this has very few puzzle elements in it. This is just about rolling a ball and doing lots of damage, and I'm alright with that. Ah, this is a terrible idea! Ooh, money. Innocence, yes. Destroy them. I'm a malicious ball of doom. You know, this is the kind of game that I think I would play if I had a really bad day. So that I could inflict my pain upon others. I'll be alright with that. I don't get any money for knocking those over. That's upsetting. Oh, well. Ah! This is getting increasingly more difficult. Oh, God! He has elephants. This is hardly fair. Leonidas didn't have elephants. This is historically inaccurate! Well, at least I can get some money out of this. Right, okay. The enemy is rolling. Can I avoid the elephant with wings? God, I hope so. Would have made more sense to go in this direction. Can I get the key? Yes. Toss myself off here. As I said, there's no penalty to that other than time and, of course, the speed that you have accumulated in the process. So... I don't believe it starts building another ball until your previous ball has stopped, so you can't take too long. Otherwise, you will take damage. And as you can see, he'll actually start raising new defenses in the process, so that is something to consider. Highly tactical. Damage has been done. And I got a lot of money this time around, so I think I might actually use some upgrades. Now, that's one of our elephants. Oh, I can actually now build bigger towers. And I can too build elephants. All right, well, let's build some war towers over here. There we go. And now, deploy the elephants. My ball is not ready yet. How upsetting. Come on, construct it. Get it done. Well, this is probably one of the most ridiculous genre-bending games I've played in a while. And the funny thing is it actually works. Which is unexpected, honestly, because I read about this concept a while ago, and to me, it sounded absolutely bonkers. And it is absolutely bonkers, without a shadow of a doubt. But that's okay, because it's Ace Team doing it. If it was anybody else... I don't know. I can't even remember the name of them. That saddens me a lot. The guys who did Cargo and The Void, they might be able to pull this off, but... I have to say this is infinitely more playable. That's the funny thing about Xenoclash is that it was a weird concept, but it was easy to play and it actually worked really well. And that's exactly what I'm getting out of this game as well. Team Ace seemed to have, or indeed Ace Team seemed to have a particular talent for making bizarre stuff that actually works really, really well. And that's cool. Because that, ah! That's a really nice piece of originality that they've got and the ability to realize it and still make a game that's not awful. 
And originality is one thing, but if you don't make a playable game out of it, then it's not really worth an awful lot in the long run. Oh dear, things are going wrong. We evidently need far more defenses. Our defenses are failing utterly. Smash the heathens! That was a good hit, but I'm going to need one more. I'm going to have to delay this guy as much as possible. Everything I possibly can. Alright. Deploy several war elephants. And towers. Plenty of nice, tough towers across here. Make things really difficult for him. I may lose the Leonidas here. I'm going to have to go right for it. Not picking up anything else. What's this stuff? Oh, I see. Right. Okay. Cool. So that will actually navigate you around the track, which is something I was having a little bit of difficulty with. He's going. He's going. We need to go too. Destroy the heathens. And God, I hope he doesn't get there in time. Otherwise, I lose. Ah, this is not going to help. This is not going to help. No. Oh. And he's doing absolutely fine. He's not having any of these issues that I am. God, he's covered this place in defenses as well. There we go. Okay, we are on our way. Let's take the high road. Avoid the catapults. Come on, elephant. Do something useful. Damn it. He should be coming up to the majority of my defenses any moment now. One. No. We missed. We missed. Controlling the boulder is actually kind of hard. Well, he's been knocked off of there as well. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go. 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 More speed. More speed. Oh, God. I could see him right there. Quick. No. Oh. Uh, do I get him? Maybe, maybe I do. He's going to crush my... Uh, uh. Well, that was very, very close. Okay. I now have a better idea of what I'm doing. We shall try this level once again. Okay, we've seen that. Onward. Damn Spartans. Right. Let's have a look around and see what we can see. So, this area right here seems to be a very useful choke point, particularly if I were to put an elephant up here. The funny thing is, I'm saying that with complete sincerity. If I were to put an elephant up here, like, what the hell are you doing? Hopefully, the elephant knocks him off there, and then we can get him mangled up a little bit in these towers. That should make things a little bit interesting. In the meantime, I'll deploy a couple of catapults behind those to try and slow him down. We can also put our loyal cattle soldiers onward to the gates of hell itself. Or perhaps we could call them the hot gates. La! Making such highbrow jokes requires a lot of concentration. Don't judge me. Let's go. Remember to smash a few things on the way down, otherwise we won't actually get anything whatsoever. That's an interesting mechanic, actually. If you spend too much time smashing stuff, and of course, when you smash stuff, it weakens you. If you spend too much time and you weaken yourself too much, then you don't hit for as much. But if you don't smash enough stuff, you're not going to have enough to build proper defenses. So that's a really intriguing balance that you have to strike between the two. Which is tricky, to say the least. Apparently you don't get too much for smashing catapults, so I'll probably avoid that in future. That said, catapults are very expensive to replace, so it might be worth doing that. I lost a lot of speed coming down here as well, so that's a third factor to consider. When my boulder actually struck, it didn't do as much damage as I would have wanted. Funnily enough, it did a huge amount. I wasn't even traveling at great speed. I imagine the mass is perhaps more important than speed. Now, I actually have an opportunity to build more defenses, hopefully before he even gets to me. No, there he is. Ow. Yeah, that was a big meaty hit right there. I suggest we form a defensive line. Right here. While our boulder is being constructed. Now perhaps we can get him trapped in there. 
Well, of course, he could just take the high road, and I'm hoping that he won't have the common sense to do that, but that should be a good defense. I guess we'll find out. Here we go. Let us destroy. This is what this game is all about. Rampant destruction. And complete incompetence. That's mostly when I'm playing. I'm thinking, oh, yes. Oh, I've gained too much speed and momentum for that to actually work. Oh, this is going to be a problem. Right, I guess we're smashing through this then. We don't really have too much of a choice at the moment. Catapults slow you down and do damage too, so... I've taken some damage. Still got some coins from that. Now, I was trying to get that, but I failed again. It's actually really hard to get there. I have a feeling you just have to slow down at that point if you want to grab all the keys. I don't even know what they unlock. I have no idea, but... All I know is shiny things in game means that you have to have them. You are required to by law, by mandate of the gods. Give it, give it. There we go. I've lost a lot of mass in the process, but maybe I can make up for it in the speed that I build up here. There we go. That was a pretty good hit. Now. Where is it? He hasn't gotten to me yet. Perhaps a... Uh, can do a catapult shot and stop him from getting through here. There he is. Right, so... That's that's quite tricky by the looks of it. Well, we can reinforce this wall. It did slow him down a great deal by the sounds of it. It also looks like once you've destroyed one area, you can't rebuild in the same place because there's now holes in that wall. Now what we'll also do is... Put a set of catapults behind it. And some cows. That should slow them down a little bit. Okay, here we go. Let's finish this foolish Spartan off. First we're gonna rock. Then we're gonna fail monumentally. Why do I keep trying to get over that bit? Why? It's mostly because I just want to avoid all this stuff, but then I suddenly realized that's very easy, whereas jumping over that with that amount of momentum really is not, and I shouldn't be doing it. Now, you can also dodge those catapult shots as you go through, so you don't need to eat them if you are quick enough. Ah! This is not going to help. Get out. Get out! Okay, he's rolling. We're going to make this good. Let's take the high ground, avoid the majority of his defenses over there. Then we'll need to jump down to the low ground to avoid that. Okay, we've got a free reign all the way in. That's a clear win. There we go. I think not. Death to you. Improving history, one rock at a time. Is there... I was going to say, you don't play against a Kraken, do you? Because that would be kind of awesome. Well, there you go, folks. Rock of Ages. I don't even know what to make of that. It's really fun and has a fantastic, awesome art style. The current price, I believe, is $6.99 or about $10 on Steam. That's a good price for a game with such originality. And it does have multiplayer and it's got leaderboards and everything. As you can see, leaderboards for time trials on various maps. Sparta, Thermopylae. This actually is useful because this might give us an indication of how many maps there are available. Sparta, Thermopylae, Taurusirium, Waldicia, the Frankish Empire, Vienna, Trento, L'Aquila, Rome. Flo That's a lot of maps. What? What? Wow, that is an impressive number of maps. I expected like four. There's like 20. Oh, well, there you go. If you want a thoroughly original title that's completely and totally off its rocker, then you could definitely do worse than Rock of Ages. Check it out on Steam, folks. I'll put a link in the description below this video. You know what I want? I want Ace Team to make more games, which is why I would like this game to do well for them, because every game they make is amazing and completely ridiculous. It's an originality hive. I don't know what it is about Chile. It's where they're from, by the way, if I didn't mention it. They're a Chilean developer. Apparently, Chile is a hive of innovation and really cool art styles. 
So I would highly recommend it, folks. Highly, highly recommend it. I had no idea what it really was before I got into it. I'm not sure I still do now. All I know is it's a lot of fun, and you should definitely be paying attention to it. Rock of Ages, folks, on Steam right now. I'll see you next time.